Hello viewers, welcome to Missology. Can you think of a single process that would have made life possible on earth? Yes, I am trying to indicate it towards photosynthesis. A process that provides food for all. Food in the form of fruits, vegetables, grains and many more. Not only food, it also provides oxygen. Oxygen that is required for respiration. We breathe in the air rich in oxygen which is set by the plants in the atmospheric air. Is this a property of the plants alone? Because whenever we speak of this process photosynthesis, what comes to our mind are the green plants. Now let's understand a little about this process. These green plants are autotrophs since they perform photosynthesis. These autotrophs mean that they can prepare their own food. They don't have to get into a kitchen to make their food with certain raw materials. They use the constituents from the nature that is water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air and they set it with the help of sunlight and the chlorophyll present in them to produce glucose and oxygen. This glucose is then stored in the form of starch in their body and that's what they use throughout their lifetime so they don't have to depend upon anybody else for their food. This is what is all meant from the process of photosynthesis. Now we would try to focus if this process is only possible with green plants or do we have any other lower organisms who too can perform this process? Is photosynthesis possible with other organisms? Let's find out with the lower kingdoms. Since we have pointed that it is necessary for survival of life, so life did not start with the multicellular organisms. Life actually started with the unicellular organisms of the primitive type who did not have much requirement but definitely food is always a bare necessity for everyone. Now how did they obtain their food? Or how was this food converted into energy for their growth, multiplication and survival? If we go back to the most primitive kingdom, Munera, we would find the cyanobacteria, they contain phycocyanin, a blue-green pigment which is capable of absorbing solar energy or sunlight and thus perform photosynthesis. They not only have phycocyanin, some of them have chlorophyll A as well, which is a direct pigment for absorbing the photons of the sunlight and cause the process of photosynthesis. Let's go a little higher to the kingdom of Pratista. Among the Pratistans, we have Euglena, which contains chloroplasts in its body. We also have Pandorina and the colonial Volvox. They also incorporate chlorophyll in their body and they are photosynthetic in nature. I think this makes you understand that lower organisms who were unicellular, they too had a way to provide food for the others and also to set oxygen in the air for the aerobic organisms that is those required oxygen for performing their respiration. Now if we go further higher into the multicellular organisms do we ever find an organism who too could perform photosynthesis by itself. This is not perfectly true with any higher animal or for the 
animal kingdom to perform it just by itself but yes they have made their own ways to incorporate chlorophyll in their body and thus help the organism to perform photosynthesis when food is not available this is mostly with the gastropods or with the mollusks the sea slugs they could live in association with algae and they could incorporate the chlorophyll when they were not available in the surrounding and thus they become solar powered apparatus for themselves capture the solar energy and perform photosynthesis for a considerable period of time this is what makes their power of survival better as compared to the rest of the animals because they can generate food for themselves either by having chlorophyll in itself or by incorporating chlorophyll by feeding on the algae and incorporating it into their dna or it is absorbed into the body and thus utilized later when food is not available for them i will come with the rest part of photosynthesis with the steps of light reaction and dark reaction to explain the entire process of photosynthesis in the upcoming sessions thank you for now please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you once again